Well, this has been leaking since last summer. Notice before I put it away, so I guess it's time to change it. There's not a lot of videos on YouTube on the Corvettes as far as working on them. So, first thing I took off was this piece, and it is directional. In case you guys uh, take it apart, I should say top, make sure you get it back on right. Looks right in the center. Well, this is what you're going to wind up taking apart just to get to your thermostat housing. You're going to have to get that heater hose off. Um, just not enough room to sneak it around. Tried to, but not. Your two bolts, your one ground wire. Um, drained a little out of the radiator into a pan so we didn't mess up the environment. Not much parts laying around. I changed this hose yesterday right here. The one that was on here was right here. It's all dry, cracked up, and it was way too short. So the one on here now, you can see the knuckle here. I slid the hose way down on there. So it has no chance of getting a vacuum leak now. And this thing actually has no hesitation no more. I saw you this morning by my house catch rubber in third gear. The, uh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that while I'm on the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. But uh, <laughs> anyways, um, it was still sucking so much air through here that um, it acted like um, a bad pumper in a carburetor. If anybody ever remembers a carbureted vehicle, some of the older people probably remember it. But that's about it. And that took away all the hesitation and sluggishness out of the motor. And now it's really responsive. So that was a nice change and that's all it was, was... Uh, yeah, there it is, all back together. Left a little stain down in there. I have to clean that up. Ooh. All back together. That's so funny. Come look at this in the video. Looking at going backwards. Usury Bob. That's pretty good. Hopefully she don't leak no more.